It happened last fall in an orchard in Fenton and is happening again this summer. Thieves robbed a Three Rivers farm of their fruit crop in the dark of night. Thousands of dollars worth of cherries, strawberries, and blueberries were stripped from trees and bushes at Cory Lake Orchards, a 250-acre fruit and vegetable farm. Farm owner and manager Beth Hubbard says this is the first time fruit has been stolen from their farm, and whoever did it knew what they were doing. I have to say I wasn't watching the sweet cherry orchard very closely because we lost most of our sweet cherries in the May 9th freeze. And we really only had one kind that produced. It happened to be an old-fashioned heirloom yellow cherry that we grow. And the trees were the only ones that made it um, through, and they were just loaded. So I sent my crew back a few days later to get them, and they came back and said, well, there aren't any. I said, no, you're, you're missing the trees. Go back and look again. And they came back and said, no, really, there, there are none there. And so that was pretty shocking. And then we realized they had had to have been stolen. It's believed that these people that are stealing the fruit know where to go, when to pick the fruit, and that they have a market for the fruit. This isn't just a, you know somebody coming in to pick for their own consumption. We're talking about six to $14,000 worth of fruit that's been hurt, um, stolen last fall and then the 6,000 this year. So there, there's a market for it. That's been around for thousands of years and fruit is kind of a available commodity. The fields are open, they're exposed, they're next to roads, they're easy to get to and they're unprotected from almost everything because farms are getting bigger. Hubbard says she may put up floodlights to deter future fruit bandits, but Smith says farmers could also go high tech. Hunting has a lot of trail cam options. You can get some that connect to the cell network and will text you a photo every time something walks by. Um, so that would be a really great option to set up a few of those around and hopefully get a picture of who's doing it and maybe be able to go send police there if you can catch them red-handed.